trying to dampen now, down uh, speculation. The everyone's about talking about the Mother's Day snap release. This morning, the headlines here in the UK, a picture of chaos, all focused on the PR crisis spiraling into day two, as Kensington Palace stands firm on not releasing the original photograph. But there is another new photo of the Princess of Wales snapped by a UK photo agency, her face barely visible in a car with husband Prince William leaving Windsor yesterday. The sighting just hours after Kate issued an apology over that now famous photo blaming her experimental editing and forcing major news agencies to kill the photo because it had been altered. Count on your hand how many times you get a personal apology from a senior member of the royal family. There was so much adverse reaction in the media and on social media about it that I think she just sort of wanted to calm the waters and also take a little, try and take the heat off some of her advisors. But Prince William is keeping calm and carrying on, at least publicly, seen sharing a giggle with Queen Camilla at a Commonwealth Day service on Monday and not addressing the PR fiasco back at home. In the last 36 hours, photo editors the world over have been dissecting every pixel of this photograph, finding more than a dozen inconsistencies, including a portion of Charlotte's red sleeve appears to be missing. The edge of Charlotte's hair appears to blur unnaturally. The corner of her skirt appears oddly straight, and here Kate's zipper and hair appear misaligned. Louis's sweater pattern appears disrupted, and look here, the edges of the tiles appear repeated. The last official outing for the 42-year-old princess, Christmas Day, just a few weeks before her planned abdominal surgery. Two weeks later, Kate returned home to recuperate, but the palace never explained why she had required surgery, only making clear she would return to public duties after Easter. And yet, the absence of details has fueled more questions than the palace ever expected. So many questions, you guys. And I know we, as in the royal we, all want a lot more information from Kensington Palace, but I found this really interesting. Take a look at this new poll. It is by YouGov, and it's taken here in the UK. It finds 20% say Kensington Palace has offered too little information and 49% say it's about right guys I think it's safe to say that I'm not sure we are in the 49% I'll send it back to you yeah maybe the public isn't as interested as the media is yeah. exactly all right Molly thank you but let's keep talking about let's keep it talking we've got a lot to unpack joining us from Buckingham Palace this morning NBC News royal commentator Daisy McAndrew hey Daisy good to see you so we saw Kate in the car with her husband, which tells us that she's well enough to be riding around. What else did that image tell you? I think that was yet another attempt by Kensington Palace, by Buckingham Palace, to try to reassure the public that everything is fine, Kate's up, up and out of bed, that you know, we can believe what they are telling us. But of course it hasn't stopped the darker edges uh, of the internet and social media from continuing to ask question after question. If we can't trust this photograph, if they've been photoshopping this photograph, what else can't we trust? So I'm afraid there are still a lot of questions that haven't been answered. Yeah, it's so weird, Daisy, because I don't know if that was a paparazzi shot or a palace shot, but that they, you know, let the paparazzi shot happen. But either way, you barely see her. She's looking away. Mm -hmm. It's mainly of the prince. So if this is their idea of damage control, it's not doing it. And then, you know, you just wonder why wouldn't they just release the original photo then? If there's no there there, you know, why not just tamp down the speculation and, and, and end this nonsense? I personally completely agree with you. I think to you and to me, that seems really obvious. But I think to them behind me, they feel like they want to be in charge of the narrative. And if people like us in the media keep demanding and demanding and they say, oh, yes, you know, rolling over and giving us what we want, that they feel that might be a slippery slope and that they won't get back into control. But of course, that doesn't stop people saying, well, maybe this photograph wasn't taken last week. Maybe this photograph was taken last November. Maybe this was a pre-operation photograph and maybe uh, Kate is, is more poorly than they're letting on. Now of course that's not necessarily what most people believe but you can understand why some believe it. And they, I mean Daisy you know people edit photos all the time what if she's just a bad photo editor and like I, I don't understand how this even happened like is there no sort of system in place before photos go out that someone says you know what this is a bad photoshop job maybe we should send it back I, I, help us explain yeah. the process 
I think there are a number of things that have happened here. Kate, we know, is you know, a very, very keen amateur photographer. She has taken hundreds of photographs of her own family and she's put them out there and there haven't been many complaints in the past. There have been a few people saying that's a bit amateur and so on, but there haven't been you know, this kind of um, huge deluge of criticism. But, of course, that's all changed since the suspicion about where has Kate been for the last couple of months. Everything she does and every photograph she puts out is under much more intense scrutiny than before. All right, Daisy. Well, I guess we're going to do this story again tomorrow. I guess so. <laughs> kind of our feeling. I mean, if they, uh, yeah. yeah. It's, it just Thanks seems like Daisy. they're making a bad situation worse. Right. And I know like they want to control the narrative, but that ship has sailed. Yeah. So might as well, might as well just go it ahead and put the picture out. Yeah. Put the, okay. Well, unless there's something fishy, that's yeah, why that's it's wacky. Why. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.